don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification okay guys how are you doing i hope you're doing well welcome to our youtube channel in this tutorial we are going to learn how we can move Servo motor in Raspberry Pi once a specific condition is satisfied. Here I'm using Raspberry Pi model 3B plus and a servo motor SG90, right? So I will use Sublime Text Editor to write my code. Though here I have already SSHD to my Raspberry Pi model 3B plus by using VNC viewer. This is my Raspberry Pi gen editor but for our case we'll write source code in Windows then after we'll paste them in Raspberry right so here we go I have created a file named as servo motor underscore move so here we start with importing import rp i gpio as this is uh, is this is raspberry pi library uh, for GPIO so we import it then after from time import slip this is for stopping or for pausing servo motor then after GPIO dot set mode then a bracket gpio dot body this is for pin numbering system then after we come to set we are we are going to set a pin for pwm so gpio gpio dot setup bracket pin number 11 gpio dot out then p is equal to gpio dot pwm bracket 11 comma 50 so this is the last two lines of code is for setting pin 11 for pwm then after p dot start P dot start zero. This is for start running PWM on the pin. After that, we need to print a message to the user that answer answer below question answer below below question. If correct, servo motor will move. So here we tell the user that he should answer the below question. Once uh, the answer is correct, the, ras uh, the servo motor and Raspberry Pi will move. So that is a condition if the answer is true move the move servo motor if the question if the answer is wrong don't move a question and this is the core of our today's tutorial which is 
how we can move a servo motor and rust belt once again once a condition is satisfied so if the answer will be true means the condition is satisfied the servo motor will move unless otherwise nothing else so after that here i'm going to to give an a question to the user answer input so two multiply two we everybody know is it is uh, four so what we expect is once a user will input four our servo motor will move unless otherwise it won't move so answer is equal to input then after here is a condition right so if answer is equal to four this means if correct we need to move our servo motor here let me put a comment move servo back and forth back and forth so p dot change p dot change duty then a cycle i put a bracket three then sleep once a uh, servo motor has moved it back we want it to stop that's why we imported the sleep so we can pause our servo motor after each move then after p dot change duty 12 then after sleep we want our servo motor to sleep after moving so that is else if if uh, the answer is wrong we are going to tell the user you can't move the you can't move servo motor the answer is wrong cannot move servo motor the answer is wrong so that is after that what we need is p dot stop p dot stop p dot stop then gpio gpio dot clean we want to clean or we want to reset gpio pin to the default because if you don't reset this you will get a warning that the channel is in use as i said before that we are writing our program in windows then after i'm going to copy it and paste it in green which is a raspberry pi editor so here i paste my source code so this should be gpio dot clean up once again your program something like this put it for let's try once again if i put it for what else if i put a wrong answer if i put a three you can see the message can't move servo motor the answer is wrong so this is how we can move servo motor in raspberry pi once a condition is satisfied 
actually that is an end of our today's tutorial thanks for watching just to put a short summary of what we have covered in this tutorial uh we have covered on how we can write a program to move a servo motor in raspberry pi once a condition is satisfied and uh, we write we wrote our program in windows and then after we copied it in our raspberry and then after we run it so the condition was if the the uh, the, qu the question was to multiply to so if if answer is four our servo motor will move because the condition is satisfied but else the answer is wrong and uh, our servo motor in raspberry pi won't move thanks for watching don't forget to like put comment share and uh, subscribe for the next video update thank you and see you in the next uh, tutorials don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications.